Good morning guys, Luke with Premium Aquatics here. We've got heaters, we got thermometers, we've got the whole nine yards, we're putting it on the system, getting our water temperature regulated, let's get going. All right guys, let me go over what I've got, what I'm putting on the system. Uh, we have the Phoenix 500 watt titanium heating element, their 810M digital controller, we have the lifeguard, uh, big digital temp alert, and then I have an H2 Pro 50 watt heating element that's gonna be used elsewhere. First things first, let's go over this lifeguard big digital temp alert. Probe comes with a AAA battery that you need to utilize this. This does not plug in, it goes off battery, so they give you that already. Uh, it has the temperature range of negative 58 degrees to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, so a huge range. So here's the unit. On the back, we have a little bracket here, and then here's the battery compartment. We'll just open this up. I'm actually gonna be putting this in my overflow box, so it's out of the way, I can't see it. Just wanna bring it in a little bit closer to be able to tell the numbers a little bit easier. We have our in, which is in our air or room temperature, and then our out, which is to the probe, which is to my tank. So to set this, all we have to do is slide this little button here to the alert, and then we're going to adjust our high and our low by doing that, all we have to do is hit the high set or the low set. It's going to adjust only either or. There's no arrows going up or down, so basically you're just going to cycle through the numbers by pushing the button and holding it. So now that I have that set, then we're just gonna turn the alert on and off by hitting the button that says alerts on slash off. That alert is now on for both high and low. Go back over the temp, we can see it's on here and we're set to go. Now let's take a look at the Phoenix heater digital controller. As you can see, we're at 79 up here, nice LED display. For the buttons, we have on offset, our alert low, and our alert high. We can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and then we have the plus and minus to make our adjustments. To set the temperature, we're just gonna hit the set. It's gonna start blinking. We go up or down accordingly to what we want. Hit set again to set it. And then for alert low, again, we just push it. Go wherever we want, I want two degrees. Same thing on the high, two degrees difference, and I'm all set to go. We have a power LED just showing that we're getting power to the controller, and we also have an LED for the heater to show when the LED is on for the heater. So if I set this up, turn it up, it's gonna turn this on because we want the heater to increase our temperature one more. If I turn it back down, it'll go back off. So really nice, really simple to set up. We have a heater cord right here that we're gonna plug the element in, so I'll get this plugged up, and then we can take a look at the H2 Pro. Here's the H2 Pro heater, it is titanium. I'm actually gonna be putting this in a reservoir uh, for when I wanna do water changes or top offs. I can make sure that my water is a little bit closer to the temperature up here. My water is in the basement so I know it's colder at all times, it's on cement. I just wanna get a little bit more regulated. I know my small water changes aren't gonna do a ton. I'd like to have my temp as close as possible just to ensure Nothing's gonna stress out or anything of that nature. And if you were to put frags or fish in your sump for whatever reason, you wanna put them in timeout or you're just growing frags in your sump, you don't wanna be pouring ice cold water in there over them and get them stressed out. So they also have a digital controller, very simple to set up. I'll get it plugged in and I'll show you how this works. I'm gonna bring it in a little closer so you can see it a little bit better. Here we have the temperature probe, what it's reading at. This is what your heater is set at. We can do Fahrenheit or Celsius. To change that, all we do is hit the plus button. And then to set it, it's very simple. We're just holding the set button until the bottom number blinks. And we go up and down accordingly to whatever temperature you want and hit set again to set it. This doesn't have a higher alert, so this is just telling you exactly what it's at and what your set point is at. It is nice here, you get the decimal on here so you can see exactly what your aquarium is reading at. Uh, it, this does have a plus or minus of 1.8 degrees, so it is nice to get that 77.7, 77.9. It's as close and accurate as possible to what your tank is reading at. Here's the Phoenix Titanium Heater. It's super nice, we love them. We've always had a lot of great success with them as well as great feedback. They come with this plastic housing on the outside so you don't have to worry about this heating element getting bumped up against your skimmer, bumped up against your sump, and possibly melting that acrylic. Melt a hole through it and then you've got 50 gallons on the water somewhere. So really nice to have that. Has two suction cups on it. On the housing, it has six tabs on each side. If we take a small screwdriver and just insert it here and pry them back, opens up really easily if we need to remove it, replace it, place heating element, anything like that, it just opens right up and then clips back together. So 
great little unit. But with the Phoenix digital heater, it does have a plus or minus two degree accuracy on it. So that's why I have the digital thermometer as well. Not only a fail safe for the alert, but that way I know if this is saying it's 78 and my water is actually 77, that I have that degree variance in there. It's fine that it does it, but I need to know so I know the stability of my system. I know that my Phoenix heater is say a degree off. That way I know if this is saying 80 or if I wanna change it to 82, it actually is gonna be 81 in the system. That way we have a better idea of what's going on exactly in our system and we can gauge it accordingly and make our adjustments as we need to. That's why it's so important to have these fail safes and the checks and balances to make sure that everything we have in our system is working properly. So it's a good idea to have that. And it's also a great idea to have a duplicate of whatever piece of equipment you're running. Like me, I'm here in case he makes mistakes, which is a lot. Hey, but really, something like this that plays such a vital part of our aquarium, why not get a secondary of to have as a backup? We never want to get caught in a situation where we have an emergency and we don't have something to fix it or for like a return pump or even a thermometer. Something that plays a vital part of keeping this thing stable and consistent. I want to have something to back it up to make sure that it's safe and stable and not going to get stressed out, possibly see any loss of life or anything of that nature. So highly recommend getting something like this. And who doesn't like playing around with these and acting like they're lightsabers? Sorry about that. But yeah, you want to get a duplicate. It's going to make you happier in the long run in case anything does happen. So definitely recommend it. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and get this heater plugged back in and get everything stabilized. Have a great weekend as always. I'll see you next Saturday. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that bell for the notification so you get the most up-to-date information on this system as well as our other videos. And make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next weekend.